Okay, let's see what this question is really saying to us. So for a group of test takers, the scores on an aptitude test, probably like GRE, were normally distributed, had a mean of this, and had a standard deviation of 3. The fraction of the test taker in the group who scored greater than 158, 1 over 3. So I think it's more of like uh, I have to kind of like draw things out in order to make sense of what is going on. So, okay, so let's draw the bell curve, even though it's going to be ugly one, but let's hope for the best, right? Okay, no, not too bad. So what is basically the mean over here? The mean is the 154, okay? And let's, okay, so this is 34, this is 34. Let's fill this up quickly, okay? Then this is 14, then this is 14. Okay, let's fill this up quickly. And then the last in the corners is 2 and 2. So the first line is above standard deviation and the standard deviation since it is 3. So, so if I add in a 3, what, what, what's that going to be? 4, 5, 6, 7. So over here, it's going to be 1, 5, 7. And if I add another 3, it's going to be over here, it's going to be 160. If I, add, I subtract a 3 from here, 170 deviation below the mean is going to be 151. And if I subtract 1, I'm going to get 50. If I subtract another 2, I'm going to get 148. Yeah. So everything seems to check out. I think now that we are basically done with our basic configuration, I think we are able to, in a good position to solve uh, quantity A and compare it with B. So the fraction of the test takers in the group who scored greater than 158. So fraction uh, greater than 158. So I do know that 150, okay, so 158 is somewhere a little right to this line. So I cannot take it for granted. However, I can somehow compare it, right? So let's find out for 157 and then we'll kind of like see how is basically this comparing so if this is quantity of a over here so the fraction of the test takers in the group who scored greater than 148 okay so on a total if i'm just considering 157 it's basically 16 over 100 and i'm basically comparing it with 1 over 3 okay so if I kind of like resolve it out, it's going to be uh, 4 4s are 16, 4 2s are 8, and 4 5s are 20. Yeah, so this, this is basically the configuration, but this is of 157, okay? So 148 is probably going to be a bit lower than 4 over, 4 over 25, right? It's going to be a bit lower. And... Let's see if this fraction, because I'm considering more area for 157. 158 is going to be a bit lower. So if I'm just using my calculator over here, 4 divided by 25 is 0.16. And 1 divided by 3 is basically 0.33. Since quantity B is significantly greater than the overall fraction it has of the people which are bigger than 158, therefore answer must be B. Did I get this right, Nina? Yes. Okay, cool. So uh, and uh, 16 over 100, you use the, the values that are above 157. Yeah, because the author is saying that greater than 158. So I don't have a direct relationship for a 158. So I just use 157 and uh, kind of like work my way out. Why? Because I knew, let's try to visualize this a little bit. So I knew that this is the area that 157 or plus people have. So if 158 is a little right to it, so if I want to kind of like slice a little piece down, so the after slicing this small piece, you know, this small piece, this shaded area is going to be a bit smaller than the first one. So whatever fraction mm -hmm. I'm basically coming up over here, which is probably 16 over 100, 
the actual fraction for 150 is going to be a bit smaller. So you following so far? Yes. Okay, cool. 